Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, I got a couple things I need to get off my chest right here at the very beginning. Once again, I just want to say thank you for all the fantastic comments. Uh, you guys are making my game a better game. Uh, I really appreciate all the input. Um, trying to play a smarter game, uh, because we are taking harder missions now. Trying to get that, that smarter game going. So I'm going to try and not make too many errors in the next little bit. We've lost a few mechs in the past little while. Uh, while we lost the night gear... Um, I think that mission, the smooth stone mission, went pretty well overall. We did have a lot, you know, a bunch of 100 ton mechs that we had to face in that last little bit, but, um, and they had really good accuracy from long range, so there wasn't really much we could do but what, about what happened. Except, you know, there was one comment about moving the night gear out, and that was to maybe have its whole body facing the guys up on the hill. Um, and so torso twisting it so we wouldn't take all damage to one side. That was a fantastic comment. I'm pretty sure that was from night uh sorry fists of dorn pretty sure that that was what the comment was from and that was a fantastic comment thank you so much uh, and you're 100 percent correct that's what i should have did but for some reason i don't know why when i moved out there i was thinking in the back of my head oh it'll be okay we'll take a little bit of damage on the side we'll be fine but i didn't realize how accurate those guys were going to be and there wasn't much i could do about it at that point it was just too late uh, and Griff just didn't have the speed that needed to pull off what we were attempting to do there. And I didn't really realize it until we actually made the move. So he was kind of far back in the targeting. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, I think that mission was a pretty pretty good success for for 475 ton max, I think we did a pretty good job in that mission. Uh, so that's that's number the first thing. Uh, the second thing I want to do, um, the next couple of days... Uh, of missions. Um, I'm going to try and just take missions and get through them quickly. Uh, Mother's Day is tomorrow. I'm recording here on a Saturday. This is tomorrow's Sunday. It's Mother's Day. But um, my youngest has been picked for a part in a TV series, so they got to go in to um, tomorrow for in the morning to do uh, costuming and stuff. And then and we're going to go finally going to go get to see um, um, Avengers Endgame. Please, 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 no spoilers because I haven't seen it yet, and I've been avoiding all of the media. Uh, we just haven't had a ch as it had a chance to go as a family, and we always go as a family. So, got to get that chance to do it tomorrow afternoon. So, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to record tomorrow. So, I'm going to try and knock four episodes off today: two for Jade Falcon Freeborn and two for um, Night Witches. Um, my invasion series is slowly coming to a close. I think we're reaching the goals we want to reach in that in that series. So, I think. It's got another four episodes or so before it's done. I got episode recorded for tomorrow. Um, so if I miss a couple of days with that, I, I apologize. It's just it's going to be short time for those of you who are watching the Invasion series. Um, but that's got another few more episodes to go, I think, before we bring that one to a close. We just need to finish assembling the spaceship so we can launch to the moon. Um, I'll probably pick up a few episodes after that because I don't think we're actually going to launch to the moon. I think we're going to stay and do a few other things. I want to finish off all the quests in that series. So that being said, uh, I want to flip to the desktop real quick here because um, Renalkus has posted a uh, fantastic spreadsheet. And I mentioned this before, and he was he was so gracious enough to post it in, again on... Because um, I had forgotten what episode he had posted on. He posted on night, which is episode 93. So check that out. Uh, check the spreadsheet out if you are actually playing the game. And what it is for is all those components that you need to turn on and have a chance of failure. And it, it shows you, based on what your pilot skill rating is uh, in piloting, um, what the chance of failure every turn will be for that item. So for instance, if you have a, piloting with piloting, a pilot with piloting 10, how many turns it can go before that percentage chance starts to go up of failure uh, for a lot of the a lot of the uh, um, things like DNI cockpit and stuff it can go like around three uh, that pilot can go for about three turns before that failure chance starts to go up um, so you can go three turns with zero percent chance of failure which is kind of cool I think that's it's it's a pretty cool way it's laid out I'm going to show you that here in one second all right so just hang on um, yeah and uh, yeah I think that's uh, probably I think that's it. I think there was one more thing, but I can't remember what it was. If I remember, uh, we'll pick that up in the series um, as we're playing. All right, so I'm just going to switch over to that now. Just just hang on one sec. All right, so my screen recording software has a problem for some reason going from the game to the desktop. So I just had to kind of stop my recording and come back in. So this is uh, there's the um, 
URL there. Uh, I know you don't want to copy it in. If you want to find the link, like I said, it's in uh, episode 93 of Night Witches. Uh, uh, Renelkis was, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, was very, very gracious in reposting that for me. So thank you once, once again. So here it is here. Um, this is the turn level across the top here. How many turns have gone by? Um, and this is the activation turn right here. So this is your piloting skill level from three to 10. So if you're using a mask, regular mask system, if you have a piloting skill of a three, you have a 30% chance of it failing on turn one, 0% at 10. So you can go three turns here, it looks like, um, before the chance of failure for the mask will go up. So if you have a really skilled pilot, you can run it for three turns and then just turn it off. So you got a good advantage. The clan mask, you can go for four turns. Advanced mask, uh, you can go for four turns. PPC capacitor, three turns, which is kind of cool. Supercharger, three turns, which is kind of cool. DNI cockpit, Look at this, you can run it for a long time before you have to start worrying about failure, um, which is which is actually really good. So I was actually really, really concerned about that. Um, but now we can run that a lot more than I think we have been in the past, so that's great. Clan event Enhanced Imaging, once again, it's the same kind of thing where you can run for a long period of time. Uh, Pirate Engine, which is actually surprisingly pretty good here overall. Uh, and then the Blue Shield Field Generator, right? How many turns it'll run here. So that's kind of cool. Um, where's the PPC? Yeah, PPC capacitors here. So uh, I was concerned about not running them with a PPC capacitor because it doesn't affect the mech every turn. But with skilled pilots, you can go for about three turns here before you have to start worrying about a small chance of failure. Um, so if we do need to run that, we can do that. And, you know, my concern was it's like, what, two? It's like three tons, I think, the PPC capacitor to put in. And it adds heat to your mech. So I was like, ah, it's not really worth it if it's going to start failing after a couple turns. But it's not. We're going to have three turns of fire with this thing. So that's open to us now again. So I'm going to probably bring that back in. DNI cockpit, I can probably turn on with uh, Megasaur and Night Witches and run that for a bit. So that'll be kind of cool too. Um, so I am going to use this clip of video for both not my Night Witches series and my uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. So if you guys see it in Jade Falcon Freeborn or if you see it in Night Witches, um, it's the same clip. So if you've seen it once, you can pass by it unless you want to see it again. Uh, okay, so let's go back into the game. All right, guys, we're back. So um, let's have a look at the contract. We Now, we jump systems. Let's go to the star map real quick. We jump systems because we wanted to help solidify this planet for Jade Falcon. Uh, it's like been two days since I recorded, and now it's at 104% already. Like, what the hell? Somebody's watching my series and then just jumping ahead and... <laughs> It's screwing me up. And that's fine. I love that. I love the competition. That's great. If that's what's happening, if not, then it's, you know, it's the nice, happy coincidence. All right. So we're going to go in straight in and take this mission to start here. Let's launch the contract. Uh, once the Mjolnir gets back, I'm thinking I want to keep that in the main lance. Um, there was some good comments. Um, and it's, once again, I think it was Fist of Dorn that mentioned, or it might have been Boyd's Inge. I can't remember. Sorry, I apologize for who it was. Mentioning that I think the command co uh, uh, console should go into this uh, uh, Red Reaper with a lot of defense. And I think this guy's either going to run all ER medium lasers or all medium pulse lasers. And we're just going to use them as a tanky build. Um, I'm not going to make him really like too fast. I might put a, a mask in him to get him into battle quickly. But other than that, I'm, I'm not going to make him like... Um, a uh, long range fire power uh, powerhouse. He's going to be a tanky, stealthy build that's going to get into combat quickly and just stay there. Going to leave the, sh the secondary shield in, from what I understand. That should be working. So, if we can get into some trees and just stand there um, and just stack all the damage reduction we can on this guy, this guy should just be able to stand there and dish out punishment to people. So, that's kind of my goal for this Black Knight. Uh, once again, this secondary Black Knight, people have mentioned the fact that it doesn't actually have a melee weapon to choke up all of our um, uh, weight and stuff it is fantastic. So this secondary Black Knight will most likely be our heavy fire support mech. The second, this the other Black Knight will be relatively, you know, fire support as well, but it's got, it does have that Krupp Sax um, five ton uh a sword so i mean it does take away five tons from the mech but we can still make it a nice tanky build and then the exterminator itself most likely will be um I, I, you know i uh i think it was um once again fist of door mentioned maybe putting uh, medium range missiles on here but because we're not really running intersphere missiles and stuff uh it'll most likely be atms with um the hemo which you know gives us uh, uh very very hard hitting power close in with some lasers to support it and we'll make it a void system build if we can 
make it really, really stealthy. Well, actually, it's got the chameleon system, sorry. So it's going to be super, super stealthy, but that's the idea behind this build. And I'm going to put in like the uh, um, stuff to make it really, really stealthy uh, and also give it lots of evasion. So when it is detected, it can move quickly and get out of there with lots of evasion. So that's kind of my goal for this mech. But that'll be our second lance. It'll be all inner sphere mechs for the second lance. Uh, and the uh, the grasshopper, the, the Mjolnir, will stay in the main lance. And this mech and uh, Grip's Black Cat will stand back, hammer from a distance while the two other uh, direwolves here are going to move in and attack from close range. But until that point, we're going to bring these guys in in our mission here. And I don't even remember, honestly, I'm going to just say this honestly. I have no idea what this mission is, <laughs> what we took. But we're going to go this way. I'm moving six pack up into this in the center of the lance. We're giving him a timber wolf now. Rhino's going to be coming up in the in the back with the storm crow, and then we'll be replaced. Most likely, we'll be going into um, we'll we'll be going into the Mjolnir at the end, uh, just because I want uh, my more highly skilled pilots running the timber wolves, which are are. Um, going to be in fighting close so that's kind of the way i want to go all right three and a half skull mission we got five skulls this should be no problem okay destroy base mission should be no problem three and a half skulls some turrets some max and maybe a secondary lance uh and i remember what that last thing was i wanted to mention uh okay so um as far as equipment, we're starting to run low on clan gear, and Boyd of Zinge brought up a really good point. Um, you know, we couldn't, we can't take some local government missions against Jade Falcon units just to be able to pick up some clan gear again. And his reasoning actually is quite sound. It could be Jade Falcon units that have either strayed from their mission and have gone rogue, and you know, um, are now trying to do things on their own. It could be having to inflict uh, punishment to bring units back in into line, uh, that kind of thing. So I think we might have to take a few missions against uh, Clan Jade Falcon to be able to get some more clan gear again um, because we are running very, very low. Now we do encounter clan mechs as we're playing, but just not in the volume that we were uh, getting before. So let's get up right into here. Gotcha. Uh, we got turrets? I don't know. If we do, we're going to be in good position. So, yeah, you know, with that being said, uh, we may take we may take a few. We'll see how it goes. I, I still kind of feel really weird about doing that, but um, just series-wise, right? Because it, it personally, it's something I wouldn't not probably do unless I was ordered to directly by um, uh, the commanders. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And even then, it's like it's hard to punish your own units, right? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't see any turrets yet. And how many times have I said, hey, you know, I don't see, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you know. Because there it is right there, folks. Uh, all right, so this turret has got 450, and this turret has got 300. But this wall has got 150, and guess what we're targeting? See ya. The screaming. The screaming! Commander. The screaming! It's going to give me nightmares. Alright, I think you're going to have enough to pull that wall down. Roger. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to target this wall. And let's bring it down. 150, right? Oh yeah, more than enough. Got it. As long as you hit. There we go. I'll do this all day. So could I. Nicely done. Serum Ignis. I don't know what these turrets are. Heavy turret chassis. You still have to worry about that. Sh heavy shredder turret. Exterminator. Okay. Scorpion. And Blackhawk. Now, is the Blackhawk not a clan mech? Because I think we have Blackhawk parts, and I think I remember it being a clan mech. It looks kind of cool, if I remember correctly. Um, somebody's calculating something or other. What you guys calculating over there? Calculate a little faster, please. We got some killing to do. I thought we had a fight going on over here. Oh, he's just figuring out where he's going to jump. Kid, you got balls. 
I'll give you that. It's a desperate struggle to try and save your people from certain annihilation. So there's an MRM loadout over there. Uh, just so you know, I'm not going to be taking MRM savage, uh, <laughs> savage, um, MRM salvage, just because um, I want to keep my gear more towards clan stuff. So that's the only reason. That's why I've been selling them all the time. Wow, that's like really bad chance to hit there. Let's just take this shot here. See if we can take this guy out. Nope. Um, I think you need to pay attention to something here. Heavy turret chassis. Now we sh why we should be able to target the walls from this distance, but we can't unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance. We can do over 300 damage, right? 70, 140, 260, 322 damage. This is a 300 turret, which it looks to be a 300 turret. Let's see if we can take it down. Yep. Target destroyed. Not knowing what was in there, it's just better to get rid of them. All it takes is one friggin' arrow system to, to make the day a bad, or a thumper, or a... Uh, a railgun, or a long tom, or a sniper, or anything big like that. So I'm kind of over that mission where we lost um, Sundance. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna chalk that one up to like horrible friendly fire damage. And uh, Talendale and I had a bit of a discussion on that episode. Uh, you know, I don't think that's really working as intended. And I've seen some discussions where they say that's you know a bug. But, you know, he was saying that, too, that's, you know, we shouldn't be firing arrows in that close. Uh, you know, you know, you're right. I thought we had enough, more than enough room. Um, but once again, we could, we can always uh, chalk that up to a tactical error, too, right? So I really shouldn't be too angry at that. It's sad to lose a pilot that way, but, you know, which is the whole reason why I didn't want to reload the mission and things. It's like, you know, stuff happens, right? It's kind of shitty the way it happened, but it is what it is. And it is possible, you know, maybe I did make an error there. Maybe it was the arrow system hitting too close. And maybe that targeting is just a rough area. And maybe it did land really close to the mech and who knows, right? But that was, that looked to me like it was a direct head hit. It didn't look to me like it was splash damage. Because I don't think you could have splash damaged 61 points of damage to a mech's head. Or I guess it would have had to been 62. There's just no way that splash damage would have all gone to the head, so it would have had to have been a direct strike. The only way that could have killed the, the mech, but whatever. We'll leave it at that. So I know I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. Thanks for all the great comments. Um, wow, you're not even doing anything? Good to go. You're really just going to stand there? You're really just going to stand there. We're going to maximize salvage off the Blackhawks, so we're just going to try to remove this guy from battle. I think he's hoping to stay stealthy, but not going to work, buddy. It's just not going to work. Not today. Not against us. That's for damn sure. Uh, should we offensive push this guy? Where do we hit him? Of course, on the far side. Where else did we hit him? Let's see if we can get some CT on him. Eh. We still got Griff. I think he should be able to hammer this guy. So I think it's the uh, Ignis SRM now. I think we do have some Blackhawk parts. I know it's only 60 tons, but still a pretty cool looking mech. Ah, uh, man. Really? Was that the Exterminator? Or was it the Blackhawk? That's the Blackhawk. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I didn't want to have to go all the way over there to get you. Oh, this guy's in a whole world of hurt now. This Timberwolf is, like, just fantastic. I'm loving it. I shouldn't sh say too much because... <laughs> Something bad will happen, but I'm really loving the loadout on this thing. Oh 
And you know, I will go back. I will go back on what I said about the uh, lar ER large laser at the heavy range. Uh, Boyd of Zinge is, I think, 100% correct when he said that the best weapon for tonnage, or best weapon, is the uh, Ultra 5. Not the Ultra 5, sorry, the uh, Rack 5 at this weight. Uh, and I agree. I think all around the, lar the ER Large Laser clan is still the best weapon um, for all mechs. Um, but in this weight ca category, it's the Ultra 5. Um, and I just, I couldn't put together a build at 75 tons with um, the ability to be able to outdo the Ultra 5 and stay uh, relatively cool uh, heat-wise. So I will, I will uh, concede to that. What do you got in the head? You got a full head. We don't have enough juice. We got to hit you twice. So we're going to go after that leg. Oh or just shoot for the head, whatever. Okay, we got the tag on him. That's good. He's unsteady. Ready for nope. Uh, let's get six pack on the side here. That turret has been quiet, so that's good. See if we can pull this guy's leg off. And firing. There it goes. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, well. It is what it is, buddy. We're all still alive. That's all that matters. Alright, that last turret is grips, I think. Most likely, but we're going to hit it with this, with you first. Alright, not bad. And Mockingbird. Let's get in, take this building out. Do our job. Let's fire the Ultra, save a bit of heat here. It's history. Something tells me that Ignis is going to be the last thing that we kill. He's just hiding back there. He's panicking. He's like, there's no garage I can hide in. Where am I going to go? That, uh, just so you know, the ER, ER uh, medium laser that fired up in the air, that was absolutely 100% deliberate because there's a dropship coming in. We were just targeting the dropship, making him think twice. That's, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Acknowledge. Hundred, eh? Uh, let's just go with the ultra. We'll dial our heat back. We don't need to run these guys. So one thing I will say about these Timberwolves, they do run hot um, with those uh, heavy medium pulses. Uh, we can't not have them run hot, unfortunately. So it's the back one here we need, right? Yeah, I always target this one in front, and then I'm like, why didn't it go down? Because it's not the right building, duh. Yeah, baby. Uh, you think you could get in there and get that Ignis? I don't even know. Oh, we can from there. Um, we're running really hot, man. Let's go this route. Fire it. See if we can scare him out here. Once again, we don't step on mechs with clan mechs. Or step on vehicles with clan mechs. I'd never dirty my feet with a uh, vehicle. That plus we do shit damage. <laughs> Mostly because we do crap damage. That's the reason why I don't do it. Let's box this guy in. I don't know. Think I don't think we're gonna have reinforcements. Uh, sure. Why not? We got tons of heat room. Don't worry about it. We'll be out of here before then. Yes, Commander. All right. Can you see the Ignis? Let's get out of here. Much as I want to give the kill to Rhino, we're gonna go this route. Working. Get out of here. There we go. There it is, folks. All right. So the Koreans had 104 um, percent on this planet control. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, see, Ronald Guy is going to be gaining a lot more experience than everybody else, which is really important at this point. We're really grabbing garbage. And I think we want Blackhawk parts. I think that's really, unless there's something else amazing down here, we really need sea bills, like, really badly. Um, there's no Clan XL engines. AMS ammo. It's one of the other things I think we're short on right now, but we can probably buy that in the store at some point. So 
It's Blackhawk parts. Gonna go that route. All right, we got five of them. Nice. Some medium lasers and stuff. Another junk we can sell. Cool. It's all inner sphere stuff, so with the exception of the ammo, it's gonna get sold. All right. Um, yeah, well, we, nothing's gonna happen. Look at a lot of stuff going back and forth between Karita and Jade Falcon. That's awesome to see. I was concerned that this engagement was gonna be one-sided, but those Karitans are putting up a really good fight. If you guys are watching this, man, Good job. You guys are putting up a really great fight now. I really enjoy that. Uh, so we took barely any damage at all. Mjolnir is going to be back. Let's manage our tasks a bit. Let's bring Mjolnir in. Okay, so let's have a look. How do we do here? Not very well. I, don't, I think that was a priority mission, so it, we should have done okay. Draconis Combine down to 90%. Cool. So now we've got another uh, priority mission here as well. Um, let's get our stuff back here first. Three, four, five. Nice. Before the end of the month. Um, let's have a look at the bays. I think we're fine. I don't think we took any damage, really. Internally, nope. Okay, so we're still good. Let's have a look at our contracts. Intelligence agent, I think we're going to do. Uh, captured by recruiting patrol during routine data drop. Uh, so we're going to go after this one. And if it goes really, really quick, we might take another one today, but... Uh, we still have we still have noisy neighbors and raiding party, which I can do today in the next episode. Uh, maybe not raiding. Well, maybe raiding party. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I people have been saying maybe you shouldn't be going five skull. Just go to four, four and a half, or four for the next little bit, so we can get some more sea bills and stuff to build up mechs. And I agree. So I might not go too too high. Maybe we'll take the three and a half and the four and a half in the next episode. But we're going to grab this one today, intelligence agent. Grab the priority mission. See if we can crank up our uh, our. Um, the rep on this planet a bit. We're going to go full salvage again. Accept this. Priority mission. And we're going to go with the same group. So let's deploy this. It's a recovered recovery, so we should have no problem. Command interface initiated. All right, I'm going to apologize for the uh, noise going to be going on in the background. It sounds like my neighbor's out there doing some stuff with his uh, in his backyard. Um... Got the window closed, but he's being real loud, so I apologize for that. Um, all right, let's uh, get going on this. This should be no problem. It'll be a lance here, and then there will be another one coming in from the left, most likely. All right, Griff, lead these people in here. We're going to move in fast, hard. We're going to grab the stuff that we need to grab. Uh, and then we'll worry about any reinforcements and come on man me and the camera just don't like each other We just don't and I heard a vehicle on the left hand side here Waiting for orders. Okay, Mockingbird, let's get up here gotcha. Let's show these two relatively green air pilots how things are done So she's the only person left from the very beginning of the campaign besides Griff Everybody else was, was hires after her. Alright. I normally don't keep those starting pilots, but this time I did. Uh, Alright. Uh, we're going to reserve. Roger that. Much as I want to move in quickly, I want to see what's here first before we do that. So we've got a Nodachi. That's got to go down fast. J. Edgar. Florentine. Alright, I have no idea what that is. LRM Carrier Mark II, so that's got to go down. Unfortunately, we don't have a... a uh, oh, we don't have a um, LRM mech anymore, so we can't hit that guy. But we are going to try to headshot this one and see if we can take it out of the battle. Uh, or at least get close to taking it out of the battle. We got tags on it. We did very, very poorly. Standing by. Um, there's that mineral field. I was looking for the mineral field here. If we're going to sprint down, that's where we want to be. Full speed. No target. There he is. Let's hammer him. Oh, we did hit the head. That was a PPC hit to the head. I'm going to fire the Ultra from here. Gotcha. Then we're going to try and take that head off. Commander. Um, he's going on 9. We go. We both go before him. Let's get down in here. All in They're both in cover now. So we're going to fire from here. Copy that. 
Just in case we don't kill him. Ready for orders. Um, I want you up here. Ooh, are we in range? We still are. But I don't want you to too close to that guy. So we're gonna... What do we got back here? We got two lances in here. That's interesting. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna take the best chance of doing it. Let's go after this head. Come on, two more. Nope. Yeah, we had to try. Might have to be Griff. Oh, I don't think he can see us. Standing by. I don't think you can see us. Which could spell your doom. See ya. Yep, I see that. Uh, let's get up under the trees here. I know we're not moving in as quickly as I normally would, but once again, now I've seen that it's like two lances. I don't want to get too deep in here and be surrounded. So let's take this J. Edgar out. Thank you. Swift wind? Alright. Normally the second lance comes in from the left here, but that's fine. Whatever you want, whatever you guys want to do, we'll handle y'all. We'll handle y'all. Um, I don't think we're going to be making a beeline out of here, so we're going to just go after who we can here. If we can hit this Florentine, I think we want to do that first. This is the Swift Wind. That's a scout mech, or a scout vehicle. Florentine... Pair of Ultra 5s, eh? I think we'll just shoot. Get some early damage in on that side. Ulpe. Somebody's got a Rack 5. And an ER medium. Or ER large, I mean. And another ER large. Um. Wait a minute. Where's the rack on this thing? Must be integral then. Uh. That's okay. Um, okay. Sure. See, oh, rotor rack five. I thought white was like usually melee. Is it like a pirate rack five or something? That's really, really strange. That's really, really strange. That's fine. Oh, okay, that's like a crab. Well, there is somebody on this side. That came from the left. Just in case you're listening to this in mono. Which if you are, I have nothing but contempt for you. Minimum of stereo. Mono is like so... 1920s. Thumper! Fuck you, Thumper. Oh god, really? Let's get over here. They're going to be targeting you, but we can pull this guy down, I think, this turn. We're going to uh, Warlord this up. Inflict the maximum amount of damage. You want to shoot me with a Rack 5, do you? Have a seat. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, you just sit down.
You just sit the hell down. They've got a sensor lock on me. We're about to get ourselves some crab florentine. I think we need to target that LRM carrier though. Let's get you over here. Heading out. We're gonna try and get the uh, angle on this guy. Yeah, not the best chances to hit, but if we do, we could probably kill him. Let's fire everything. I copy. Oh. Oh. Oh, not quite, eh? Critical hit, Commander. Maybe he'll take off. And maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Um, can we get an angle on those guys over there at all? I don't think so. <sighs> okay, let's multi this up. I want you and I want you. B is going to take, now these need to go to A, those are pretty good chances on B, so let's fire this. Hopefully we get lucky on this guy, nope. <sighs> Probably shouldn't bunch up, but uh, I want to do this. Okay, there we go. He doesn't get a chance to speak for the rest of the match. Just making me mad. One of the assets is in hand, you mean. Shut this guy the hell up, please. We need to kill these guys all this turn. Sorry, we need to kill all these guys this turn. Uh, language, please. Language. Alright, everything on this guy. Hopefully we can kill him. Yes, Commander. This one should be easier. Can we get to both those guys? It's really one or the other, eh? Okay, let's do this. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Let's split the attack. Here. Here. I guess it's got to be this way. Alright, firing. Roger. Oh! <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, not quite enough. All right. Good to go. Six a pack go. Let's get into here. Roger, full speed. Gonna multi. Um. Not enough, eh? Let's go this route. Firing. Firing on multiple okay, take his leg off. Nice. Ah, man. 
The LRM carrier is surviving. It used to be way scarier. I remember when you used to see that LRM carrier used to be panicked, like in the original uh, Battletech series, or the Battletech. You see LRM carrier and you drop a load because you knew they were going to destabilize you or knock your ass over. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Really? I'm more concerned about Mockingbird being shot, but if you wish to protect the asset, whatever. Asset can die for all I fucking care. Um... This guy wants to shoot you. Finish him up, please. Mech destroyed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get down here. Copy that. Oops, uh, I forgot they have an LRM carrier. <laughs> Standing by. Uh, I forgot all about the LRM carrier. <sighs> Such an idiot. Can we not? Oh, wait, what, what? Oh. Full speed, no target. Save my ass here. Bail me out of the fire. Just go this route. Putting, one in the back. Putting two in the back. Alright, they can't see us now. Yeah, well, we don't leave until these inner sphere pieces of garbage are gone. What's up, boss? All right, getting up here. Roger that. Got no sensors on yet. Receiving you. They're hiding back there, shooting us from range. Let's go. It's not how we play the game, boys. Waiting for orders. Let's just wait for the rest of us to show up, please. Copy that. I'm here. Move order received. All right, we got some eyes on. Waiting for orders. Our sensors on, that is. Acknowledge. Are they just going to sit there? Most likely, eh? Full throttle. All right. Let's get the Mad Cat Squadron into play here. Reading you. Don't move fast. Try and stay sensor null if we can. Ready for orders. Location confirmed. They're most likely just going to sit there. They're behind a hill, too. Look at that. You sneaky bastards. Yes, Commander. Moving Good play, the... though. Orders. I know bunching up is probably not a good idea. I don't know if we're in sprint distance yet. Uh, what I wouldn't give for everyone to be mask enabled right at the moment. Got to do this. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Don't quite have it yet. Ready for order. Okay, guys. Stick on the ice. Don't get beat. Let's see if Griff can get them both. Alright, what do we got here? Joust. Uh, no missiles left. Thumper. That's a lot of friggin' armor. 
Um, we're seeing his side though. I think we OP. Two fifty on the side. It's tagged though. Ready for orders. Well, yeah, it was worth the shot. No shooting, just running. Oh, he's got ATMs. Wow. Thanks for showing up, guy. I'm here. Affirmative. Yep, yes, please. All weapons are go. Scored a critical hit. What's up, boss? You know what we want. Affirmative. Drop a dumper on the stumper dumper. Firing. Affirmative. Still not killed though, eh? Orders. Got it. Finish this guy up, please, if you can. Ah, good shooting. And yeah, firing. Just to make sure. Yeah, these guys are trapped off map here, unfortunately. So they can't maneuver. Really need to fix that. Reading you. This should be more than enough, I think. Yep. There it is, folks. Most stimulating. Mission successful. All right, guys. Contract payment increased by thirty percent. That should probably cover our damages. We did take some damages close in. Mockingbird got hit by the rack, so not so bad. Actually, pretty good dis distribution of kills overall. Even the Storm Crow, the fifty-five tonner, got a couple of kills. And no dashy parts. No thank you. Volpes. I don't know if this is. I don't think this is a clan back, right? No, it's not. Uh, ATM nine. We've got lots of ATMs though. So looks like we got some clan gear here. Um, there's a rack five. Let's drop that uh, thumper artillery too, eh? Fifteen tons. We got some sniper artillery, so I don't know. I think we want to focus on some other stuff. We got good salvage here, so let's look for some Seabills triple XL engine. Yes, please for sale. Twenty million Seabills. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna grab those. Now we do need fire control system recoil. We don't really have a lot of mechs that can use this right now because we don't really have a rack capable mech. Um, but I should be grabbing some of that stuff. Double heat sink, that's just a regular one. Regular mask, we've got two of these. Patchwork materials, we've still got two. Range sensors, range finder. We have a better rangefinder anyway. So ATM ammo here. Let's grab how much HE do we have? We got four. ER ammo, we've got four. Regular ATM ammo, we've got eight. So we don't need any ATM ammo. LRM, we don't really need any of this at all. MRM, we're not using MRMs. Thumpers. Thumper. We could go this route. Could do it this way. I think we'd be silly not to. Rack, how much rack 5 ammo do we have? We got one. So we can't really load up a rack anyway unless we take rack ammo. So the question is, do I want the thumper? And I don't really have a mech that can use it. And I think I would rather, if, I, if I'm using ballistic, I would rather use the rack at this moment anyway. I think if we, if we encounter it later on, I think we'll take it at that point. Shape charge, 30 meters AOE. Additional area effect damage is 50 to primary and secondary targets. 50% thumper damage. Eight shots. I'm going to take that for now. Just as my last thing, because if we do get a thumper later on, at least we've got ammo for it. 
Um, and good ammo as well, too, right? So I think we'll go that route. I think my my initial sense is right here. I think we should go this route. A few fire control systems, but nothing really, really amazing. So we don't really need any of these. We do need to look for, for uh, cockpit modifiers. So fire control systems, uh, cockpit, and sensors. But we don't. We're not going to use any of these. So we'll just take this. All right, we got one, two, three, four Nodachi parts. One, two, three, three Volpe's parts. ER large laser. Now we got how many of these? Eight, nine. We got some stuff we can sell. You know what? Check out how many of these we have. We got thirty. This is thirty-six now. Thirty-six light machine guns. I wish I had something that with hard points that could use all of these because that would kind of be cool. An Ultra Five. That's going to be sellable. Engine core can we can sell. So we should make. We made a lot. Of, we got regular thumper ammo as well. So we made a lot, a lot of C bills off of this one. 93 million. Cool. All right. 114,000. So I knew we were going to take a fair bit there. Not a big deal. We made so much C bills. So before we leave the episode today, we did really well. I mean, Timberwolf back and four, Black Cat, three, Mjolnir. We're going to move the Mjolnir back up again because I want that in the Lance for next episode. So let's go to the store real quick. Oh, we can't go to the store because we're not in Jade Falcon territory. Let's have a look at the star map. We can't actually sell anything at this point. Oh, Jade Falcon 14% Draconis Combine 76. So we're doing some good work here. So I was hoping to be able to sell that triple XL engine because I want to get um, the Clan XL engines into the... Um, all of the other mechs that we're going to have running in the second lance. So I think we've got the Red Reaper has got one already in it, right? Because we didn't take that out. We've got the Clan XL. I put one in the other Black Knight just so we had it in there. So we do have one in there. This guy doesn't have anything in him. So I wanted to drop one in here and one in here. And we would have the Seabills if we could sell stuff, but we can't. So yeah, we're just going to wait for the Mjolnir to come back. And the next episode, we want to hammer this planet again try and get more jade falcon influence so we're going to move all those guys up let's move the storm crow down not that it matters because they'll all be back anyway but that's how we would do it and when we come back next episode we're going to take some more missions on this planet and hopefully we can flip the uh, planet back to uh, jade falcon here uh, let's keep our fingers crossed hopefully it's enough but we'll see how it goes. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you can drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Once again, thanks for all your support. And until next time, we'll see you later.